that. She was the prettiest. Perhaps she was the best. The quietest, the prettiest, the best. My flower. I don't want a funeral when I go. Not that anyone would give it to me. No, because you're going to outlive us all. <laughs> oh, no, not me. Now you'll be the last to go. You buried them all. You can do it for me. You know, I want to be cremated. My ashes scattered in the Missouri River. Missouri? Yeah, when I was a kid, I swore that I'd live in a rowboat and get my money by selling the fish I caught every day. <laughs> I never even saw the Missouri River. My ashes might as well. Oh, I know now I'm getting old. All I got left to do is to die. Sweet, little. Well, I don't remember you singing those words back then. I wish those days were back, and the baby's young, and everything to be done over again. Now, you wouldn't want to try to squeeze two harvests of wheat out of the same seed. Once is five. That's all the crop can bear. Then you cut back to the dirt and make way for the next plant. that tune. Time to get another. He's waiting for this one to wear out, Olive. <laughs> Which it shows no signs of doing. <laughs> the money that might have gone for a nice mm. new machine went for a radio instead. Oh. Mr. Galton, why don't you give my sister a rest and give us a tune on your harmonica? I'm sure my mother will like it.
I waited all day. I baked the white cake, and I put on the white veil, and the priest came. But you never did. Why? Well, you jilted me. But I had my marriage just the same, just like any woman. And I had a good house, too. And I had a good husband that I loved. And fine children out of him, better than I hoped for, even. You have no place here. I did without you. I was given back everything that you took away, and more. Oh, no. God, no. Not everything. There was something besides the house, and the man, and the children. There couldn't be at all. What was it? There was something else. George. George! Granny. I don't like surprises. <gasps> Granny, what, what, what is it? What, 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 what? Get out of here. I don't need you. I told you there's nothing wrong with me. Now, Mama. Oh, you too. There's no room for an army in here. Can't a woman have some privacy in her own home? I hope you're going to settle down and behave yourself. That's no way to talk to a woman of my age, just because she's lying down. You just pick up your school books and go home. Now, this boy won't take but a minute. Breathe deeply. Once more. Sit up. Sit up. Can you manage that? There's nothing wrong with me. It's Cornelia and Jimmy. I have to take to my bed to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. And now that you're there, a little rest isn't going to kill you, is it? But what's wrong with me is... Don't think that you're going to make an easy dollar just sitting there and holding my hand. Is it bad? She'll need a lot of taking care of. What else have I been doing all these years? You've been a dutiful daughter, Cornelia. So good and dutiful, I'd like to strangle her. What did you say, Mama? Nothing. I thought you might want something. I do. I do. I want a lot of things. And first off, I want you to get out of my bedroom. Both of you. I want you to be sure to pick all the fruit this year. The fruit isn't even set yet. It's never too early to plan. I know. Well, that's all. It's not near all. Be careful that you finish the fencing, especially down near the road. All right. And you have to do something for me. I'm ready. You go to the lumber room, and you find two bundles of letters, all tied up. Get the whole lot and burn them. There's no sense in the children knowing how silly I was once. Well, I don't like going among your things, Mrs. Weatherall. I want you to do it. And stop being so polite. I'm not dead yet. Not with a tongue like that in your mouth. <laughs> My family's long lived. 
My grandfather lived to be 102, and he had a glass of strong, hot toddy every day of his life. Of course, quite a scandal. Cornelia! Cornelia! Where's that girl? Here I am, Mama. You're at about time, too. Cornelia, I want a hot toddy. <laughs> Are you cold, Mother? Can't you do me a simple favor and bring the toddy? Lydia sends you love, and she'll be here as soon as she can. Is she bringing the whole litter with her? They're your grandchildren, Mama. You don't have to like them just because they're mine. And Jimmy's coming to see you after work. And Hapsy. What about Hapsy? Hapsy can't be here, Mother. Of course not. I know that. Perhaps he's been dead for 20 years. She wants it all. I don't live in a glass cage, you know. I can hear you. All that whispering. Why is your back to me? I never think about you. I forgot about you years ago. I used to pray to have the strength not to remember you. To avoid losing my soul that way. It was just vanity. That's all it was. Just wounded vanity. Plenty of girls get jilted. I'll stand up to it. Hush, little baby. Sing you a lullaby, hush, little 